the measure distance tool you can get to that tool in your main toolbar right here or you can go to your construction toolbar and grab that tool here underneath here you have some different options that you can measure you can measure between points along an element perpendicular minimum between and maximum between and we'll go over each one of those situations also you have about which you have global Z view Z ACS Z and AccuDraw Z we're just gonna wait and leave it set to global Z for right now if we had a 3d file we may change that to something else but we're just going to leave that set to global Z for this drawing that we have here. Also, you have your true distance and your projected. You also have an expand arrow down below here where you got the um, start point, end point, and delta. And you can kind of just look at that while we're trying to measure something. And if you want to measure something between points, all you need to do is identify two points where you want to measure between. So let's say I want to measure between this endpoint right here and this endpoint right here. I will have my snap set to my key point snap. I'll identify where I want to start from. Left click to identify it. Go to my next point. Left click to identify it. And here it gives you your distance and also your total distance. Now if I keep going, if I go to my next point, right here it's going to give you the distance from this point to this point but it also gives you the total distance so if you're trying to find the perimeter of something you can do that just like the way I'm doing right now so that's the tool whenever you're measuring between points and of course once you're finished with it just right click to reset it and it reset the tool. Another one that you have for your measure distance is along an element. Along an element, a good example for that is let's say you want to measure along this arc here between these two endpoints. Well, if I use my between points here and I measure from this point to this point, yes, it'll give me the distance, but it won't give me that true distance between here because that's on an arc. So for this example here, I'm going to use the option that says along an element so I can measure along this radius maybe between these two certain points. First thing that you need to do is identify the element where you want to measure from. And for this example here, I'm going to use the intersection snap. That way I can grab it to the intersection and I can identify this, this arc here. Double left click on my intersection snap. First thing I'll do is I'll identify my intersection. Go to my next point, which I'm going to use this intersection. Left click to identify it. And now you'll notice that I have my distance of 120 some odd feet. So that's measuring along an element. Now this one here, you kind of have to be careful because what could happen is if I identify this right here, see how this one right here gets highlighted that means it's going to measure along this particular element now if I right click it'll actually jump to my other element so it's going to measure along this element so kind of keep that in mind whenever you're using the along element make sure the one that you have highlighted is the one that's going to follow along so now I can go to this point right here and I get my distance if I were to do it the other way identify this you'll kind of see that right now you can kind of see that arc see how it's kind of highlighted where it's dashed that means it's going to measure along that other element the one that's solid is the one that's going to measure along which is that property line as of right now so if I left click to identify it it's going to try and measure along this element to whatever point that I select next so if I were to select this one right now you'll see my distance is 42 point some odd feet because it's trying to measure along this element. So just kind of keep that in mind when, whenever you're using the along element option. The next one is perpendicular. And this one right here is if you want to measure perpendicular off of an element. 
for instance, maybe I want to go off the center line here. All I have to do is identify the element that I want to go perpendicular off of. And now you'll notice as I move my mouse around, it's going to go perpendicular off that line to whatever side that I left click to accept. So if I go to a certain point here, and I left click to identify it, it gives me that distance of 181 feet perpendicular off the center line. Or if I go to another point, it gives me that distance. Now if I get too close to the end here, since I identified that arc, you'll notice as I'm moving my mouse, see how it ends? That means it stops at that particular point right there. So kind of keep that in mind if you're using the perpendicular option, or whenever you're using the perpendicular method, if you get too far, it's going to stop, and now it's just going to go basically measuring between two different points, this end point to wherever you're going to. Now there is an option here that says segments only. And if you check mark it, what it will do, which I don't know if you'll ever use this or not, see how to still follow along that particular arc, even though it's not extended out past through here. It kind of treats it as it's still extended out invisibly. But that is an option there that you could look at too. But so that's measuring perpendicular. Next one is minimum between. If you want to know the minimum between two different items or two elements that were out there, let's say I want to know the minimum distance in between this shape here and this line, we could do that. You just left click on your first item, left click on your second one, and it gives you that distance of 28 point some odd feet. It kind of gives you a temporary line of where that particular measurement is also. So you just left click on your first one, left click on your second one, gives you that minimum distance in between there. Or you have the option that says maximum between. So if you know, want to know the maximum between two items, you can do that. So if you left click on the first one, left click on your second one, it's going to show you the distance between, it's going to show you the maximum distance between those two points. So I found this one here, this right here, as a maximum distance in between those two different items. Those are some of the options underneath the measured distance tool.